everyone. So today I want to go over a quick um, how I use clove essential oil with my animals, more specifically horses, um, just because clove actually has a really high level of eugenol. So it contains, um, you know, a high level of eugenol. So it's just um, not particularly used on small animals like cats and um, smaller dogs. Um, but I really mostly use it on my horses and my larger dogs. So I'm just going to go over really quick um, the uses that I use it for and the benefits um, of clove essential oil. So before I actually go into the benefits and the ways that I use clove essential oil, um, I often notice that like in the pet food stores there's like tons of natural products now and just because a product is labeled natural it doesn't mean that it's a good product so oftentimes those products are actually um, containing essential oils that are actually adultered um, so not all essential oils are created equal sorry guys there's Conway I don't know if you guys can see there's hanky panky I'm sitting out in the field <laughs> hopefully I won't get in the middle of something but um, so oftentimes these natural products in pet stores they contain adulterated essential oils so not all oils are created equal so I just want to state that um, I always use therapeutic grade essential oils with my pets uh, more specifically I personally use CPTG therapeutic grade essential oils um, which is safe for internal use with pets so I use that with my pets my animals and my family I also just want to state really quick that I'm not a vet I do have my my BS in animal science biology and chemistry and I am actually in graduate study studying to be a DVM, a holistic DVM, um, as well as obtaining my acupuncture license. So just use this information for your um, your own personal use and of course always use your common There's sense. Chevy. And I also want to state really quick, okay, that all the information that I talk about in my videos, um, I haven't gotten them from anywhere from any sources. So they're all my own um, things that I've learned through experience or through school or through work Working with animals and through my experience with herbs and essential oils um, so all of the information belongs to me so please be nice and don't steal so any now that information this all said, I'm gonna hop into the benefits and the ways that I actually use clove essential oil so some of its properties hi Robbie there's my great Pyrenees I got all the animals here guys <laughs> there's the Robbie mm, hi girly Oh, she just loves being outside. Okay, so some some of the benefits of clove essential oil. Okay, it's an antioxidant. Um, it's an anti an anti inflammatory, and it's also antibacterial. Um, so those are the properties of clove that I generally use it for the most. Um, I tend to often use clove essential oil. I'll show you guys the bottles. This is what I use. I use CPTG therapeutic grade essential oils. Um, you can see on the back, there's a supplemental fact box, and it's safe for internal use. It's been approved by the FDA as a supplement. Um, so that's the brand that I use and I trust. Um, if you have any questions or you're wanting to get some essential oils, um, you can always message me at the Lotus, or excuse me, lotushealingoils at gmail.com, or you can visit my blog at diyanimaldoctor.com. Um, I'm also on Facebook as well at the DIY Animal Doctor and I also have a group linked to that Facebook page. So if you're wanting to learn more about essential oils and natural remedies for pets, go over there and I'd love to see you over there. Um, so I usually often use it for abscesses, especially in my horses. Um, I'll often use it um, as part of my soaking regimen. I often use Epsom salts, um, clay, and apple cider vinegar, and I'll add several essential oils into that mix, and clove is often one of them just because it's highly antibacterial. Um, it's also really great for pain. Um, horses actually tolerate clove essential oil really well in larger amounts, so it's often one that I use mostly with my horses um, I've also used it for dental issues um, with my horses before like maybe they have some type of um, pain in their mouth um, I've often used it diluted it with like olive oil and rubbed it on their gums for pain um, you know maybe it's been in the past where I couldn't get um, someone to come out to float their teeth so I've used it I for that use as well it internally um, for gastric ulcers. I usually add it in their feed um, 
I add anywhere between five and 20 drops of clove essential oil, just because like I said earlier, horses can handle a larger amount really well. Um, I would just start out with a smaller amount and work your animal up to it, just to see how much um, that individual horse is needing. Um, I also do something called the buccal route where I actually drip the essential oil or put it on the tips of my index finger um, and I drip it straight into their lower lip or I rub it in their lower lip and that way it actually bypasses the stomach if I'm needing it actually for pain because I find that clove is really great at relieving pain and inflammation um, especially for horses if you're looking for a natural substitute for butte or any type of product like that um, just because I know I have horses that have ulcers and it often can um, make it worse if you're continuing to use those type of products especially for ulcers so I highly recommend um, using clove because it does two things with one stone I've used clove for deworming my horses and my larger dogs um, also for pain associated with injuries in my dogs and um, maybe type of um, infection for wounds for my horses and for my dogs and one of the main things I actually use clove for is for supporting my horses that have laminitis and or have foundered or are foundering um, just because it's really great at inflammation reducing inflammation and helping with that pain um, Oh, one more thing. I have used it for fungal issues with my horse's hoofs um, for like supporting thrush. So I have remedies for all of these things. Um, if you guys are wanting them, I can make another video on those specific things. If you're wanting to know how to do that, comment below. Let me know um, what you guys are wanting me to do videos on. I've decided I'm going to start hopping on here and doing more videos often because I really want to share with everyone about how you can help your animals naturally with natural remedies and essential oils because I've been doing it since I was 15 and I figured you know what, I might as well share it with everyone while I keep it to myself um, because this is what I'm passionate about. So if you guys have liked this video or you found it um, um, you know benefiting you in any way shape or form please like please share share with a friend comment below um, let me know how you've used clove essential oil for your critters or for yourself and thank you for watching guys love you say bye bye guys <laughs> there's Chevy bye guys thanks for watching if you haven't already subscribed definitely subscribe so you can get updated when I post new videos um, yeah, so definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Chevy. Bye.